So now we need to examine all of the shift and relationship factors at play in the three relationships we're looking at. And then eventually we'll use these relationships to manipulate the model and find out what happens to price level and real GDP. Let's get started by looking at LAS. So we zoom right on in here, LAS, LAS. I'm going to get real close on LAS here. So LAS is equal to a function of, try to recall what our vertical axis was labeled. You may recall that it was labeled price level. The variable on the vertical axis is always a relationship factor. Now try to recall the slope of LAS. Was it positive, negative, or vertical? If you recall it was vertical, that will help you to remember that there is no relationship between long-run aggregate supply or potential GDP and the price level. Next, we need to know what factors will change, what factors exist that when they change, they will shift LAS. And a good way to think about this is a firm wanting to expand productivity. If you are a firm and you want to expand productivity, you have some choices. You can increase labor. In the macroeconomic picture, this is the full employment quantity of labor. Now, there's always only ever one relationship factor, and that is our price level. So the full employment quantity of labor must be a shift factor. And when labor goes up, generally we think of production or real GDP supplied as going up. So this will be a direct shift factor. And what this means is when... When full employment quantity of labor goes up, LAS goes up or shifts right. Okay, there are other shift factors as well. Capital. We use a K here to indicate capital. So if you owned a business, you could increase um, your, the size of your factory, you could buy more equipment, better tools, and that would help you to increase productivity. Capital, stock, or the value of the productive resources in the U.S. economy is positively or directly related to LAS, where all of this applies. In other words, you know, when, when capital increases, then LAS is going to increase or shift to the right. That's what that positive means. Okay. Also, technology. These are both shift factors. An increase in technology will also shift long-run aggregate supply to the right. They move together. Our final shift factor is natural resource stock, which is also a shift factor and also directly related to LAS. If you want to improve an economy in a long-run, meaningful, sustainable way, what must be addressed is the full employment quantity of labor, the capital stock, or the amount of the value of productive resources at work in the economy, the state of technology, or access to natural resources. Our next video 
we'll continue this process by looking at one of our other two relationships.